What is going on guys, Sleeping Ninja here and I'm going to bring a little bit of a different video today. Uh, as you can see in the title, it's 10 awkward situations in church or church situations. It's like the awkward things that happen to you in church that you'd rather not. Now, these aren't numbered 1 to 10, like uh, one greater than the other, they're just all awkward situations. They're not, one's not greater than the other and I'm not making fun of anything. These are just the things that have happened to me in uh, Sunday school slash church. One of them is whenever the preacher says unfunny jokes. Whenever he says a joke, like uh, whenever the preacher is up there preaching and then he tries to give an example and he says a joke. And it's not funny at all. Nobody laughs but then like two people give out a fake laugh just to make him happy. That, that's pretty awkward whenever they say a joke and it's not funny. Kind of like this isn't even funny. Number two, eating before a grace. Uh, you know how whenever there is a church dinner or something and you already have your plate, they even forget to say grace? You're sitting there with your food and you forget about saying grace because honestly I forget all the time. Only time I say grace is whenever I eat with my family or I eat at church or something because I forget all the time. You sit there and you already take a bite and everybody looks at you like, What the cook it down? Now! Then there is the shaking hands part of church. This can be in the church service like some churches do. They'll do in the middle of it. They'll just uh, give you an opportunity to shake hands with people. Or it can be like mine and you do it after church. Sometimes it could be awkward because you'll hold your hand out and it'll be like four seconds before they even see. That's why I just, yeah, I try to avoid it and walk out. Another awkward situation is whenever the singer pauses. Whenever the singer is up there singing and they forget the lyrics and they pause. Everything goes silent and it's awkward as poop in the church because they just sit there silent just like right now another awkward situation is whenever there is a crying baby or a loud kid you ever been in church and the, there's either the preacher preaching or somebody that's quiet singing or something and then there's the loud kid that's back there going mom can I have a piece of gum or can I have a piece of candy or there's the kid that won't stop whining because mom my leg hurts and then there's the crying baby that's like two months old and it cries and then uh, in each situation the mom ends up taking the kid to the bathroom to either calm it down or whoop his butt. Another awkward one is whenever you make eye contact with people on stage Whenever you're just glancing around the church and then you see someone in a choir or something, if your church has a choir, my church, they sit up there on the bench and they sing church hymns. That's all my church sings. But you'll be glancing around the church and then you'll just randomly make eye contact with somebody. And then you have a little stare off for like three seconds and then you look away realizing that you made eye contact and then it's just awkward. And then there is the extra long sermons. Uh, whenever the preacher preaches for like hours, not kidding, hours sometimes, and everybody starts yawning, people start moving around because they get restless, kids start crying, which goes along with the one I said before this last one. It's just it goes chaotic in the church whenever everybody is restless and tired because he won't stop preaching. In some ways it's bad, but in some ways it's good to have long sermons. But I mean, for me, I like it short and sweet, get the point across. So yeah, that's just my style of stuff. And then there's whenever the preacher uses you uh, as an... And then there's whenever the preacher uses you as an example in a sermon. Whenever he's trying to make a point, trying to get a point across, and he uses you as an example in the sermon, and 
it's awkward because everybody stares at you and you sit there blushing because everybody's staring at you and he's using you as an example or something like that uh, especially with my dad because my dad's a preacher and he preaches every now and then and he'll use me and Benjamin as a example sometimes and it's just awkward and then there is whenever the preacher pronounces a word wrong whenever the preacher is like really serious and he's like getting all excited and stuff and starts jumping around and everything and then he pronounces a word wrong pronounces a word wrong diabetes and then there's that kid that thinks he's funny slash cool now that kid is either going to grow up to be a drug addict alcoholic or some person that will never succeed in life. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Tell me if you want more things like this in the comments below. Drop a like, leave a comment, and stay sleepy. God bless, and I'll see you guys in the next video.